We've seen how fast and easy it is to add comments and annotations to a file. Now those comments need to be located, understood, and addressed, often by many different team members and collaborators. Frame.io has some powerful tools to streamline this process. When comments are added to a file, team members and collaborators get notified by email. Remember, you can choose how you get notified by clicking on Frame.io at the top left of the project window, choosing Account Settings, then selecting Notifications from the sidebar. The overall status of each file is visible in the project view, so content creators can quickly tell which files have been approved and which still need work. When viewing a specific file, a notification appears if there are new comments since you last viewed the file. All comments are timestamped by default and appear in the comment bar to the right of the player. At the top, you can see who uploaded the file and when, an optional description, and who's viewed the file and when. Next are some powerful tools for organizing and filtering comments. You can sort comments by time code, by when the comments were added, by who made the comment, or by completed and uncompleted comments. On a first pass, we like to sort by time code in order to view each comment in order. And in subsequent passes, we sort by uncompleted comments so that those pop to the top. In addition to sorting, you can filter comments by clicking the magnifying glass. For example, you could filter to see just a particular person's comments. Also, this is where the power of hashtags really comes in. If commenters have used hashtags to identify department-specific changes, for example, edit, color, audio, legal, etc., then each person with a specific responsibility can see just the comments that relate to them. Or, even if there is one person responsible for everything, they can focus on specific tasks like color correction or audio. Comments can be copy and pasted from one project to another, which can be a huge time saver if you have another version with only minor changes. They can be downloaded as a CSV, XML, or plain text file if you need to print them or send them to someone outside of Frame.io. You can also download in formats for specific nonlinear editors. We'll look at these integrations in a separate lesson. As a content creator, as you're working through comments and making changes, you can choose to hide all completed comments so that they each disappear as you address them. Clicking on a comment jumps the playhead to the timecode stamp where the comment was made so you can see the context of the comment, including any annotations, and decide how to respond. For example, if you're another reviewer, you can reply to the comment. All team members and collaborators can reply to comments. These replies are threaded to make it easy to follow the comment-specific conversation. You can add emojis and, of course, edit and delete comments. If you're a content creator, you can address the comment, optionally adding a reply to explain how you addressed it. And Rocket is complete by clicking here. If you've ever used email to try to send comments and collaborate on a video project, you'll immediately appreciate how much easier it is to clearly communicate with team members, vendors, and clients on the Frame.io platform. In the next lesson, we'll explore the features of Frame.io's iOS app.